Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dory and this channel is all about hiking gear, hiking tips and tricks and everything you need to know about hiking. Today I'm going to try and help you select the right hand for your adventure and I'm going to give you a few tips that I wish I knew when I bought my first hands. Tents are one of the most expensive gear items that you need to buy if you're going on an overnight hike or a long distance hike and it's important to get it right from the first time because it's not pleasant if you buy the wrong gear trust me I've been there all right so I'm gonna give you a few criteria that you need to pay attention to when you go and buy your tent and also I'm gonna ask you a few questions that you need to ask yourself because these are really very important um, in the selection of your tent okay First of all, you need to ask yourself, for how many people is this tent? So is it just for yourself or are you going with a partner or is it more like a, a group hike and you need like something bigger? So you need to take into account how many people the tent is for. However, when you look at a tent and it says for two people, it's not always for two people. So what I would suggest is you look at the footprint and uh, especially when they have the pictures with the sleeping bags ne next to each other. So you you would have to be comfortable sleeping next to each other um, if you're with two people. If you're one person, make sure you take into account if you want your bag in or out of your tent. So the capacity of the tent is extremely important. All right, when I bought my first tent, it was a one person tent or, and it was definitely too small for my liking, but I didn't know any better. So anyway, there we go. I have a lot of stories about my first backpacking tents and I wish I knew all of this before I bought my tent. <laughs> the next question you need to ask yourself is where are you going? Because we have um, different types of tents depending on the season you're going hiking in. So the most popular tents are the three season tents. And if you're going more in winter or shoulder seasons, you can go, you can opt for a four season tent. And the main difference is basically the, the material will be a little bit stronger. Yeah, there's a few extra features that a four season tent has that a three season tent doesn't have. But most of the time it's not exactly necessary to have a four season tent. So just bear in mind, when are you going hiking? And also, where are you going? Because, you know, sometimes when you're going in the mountains, you need something warmer than, for example, Australia is a good example. Like you don't need a four season tent here. Uh, but a lot of people will still end up with a three season tent because that's the most popular. All right, another thing to take into account is obviously the weight. Um, and you have to ask yourself the question, how much weight am, am I willing to carry um, for my tent? So a tent can be one of the heavier items in your backpack, uh, depending of course how lightweight you're willing to go. But when you go and buy your tent and when you try and select a tent, there is such a big difference in weight uh, through, throughout the whole selection that it's, it's impossible to choose, right? So the lighter the tent, the more expensive it usually is, um, apart from the tent that I will tell you about at the end of this video. But you have to make a trade-off between lightweight, comfort and also price, okay? So the, the lightest tents aren't, aren't usually the most comfortable ones, but then you're gonna have to make a trade-off with your comfort. The next thing you need to ask yourself when you go and select a tent is how easy is, is it to set up, okay? So are we using trekking poles to set it up? Is it a freestanding tent or does it use like lots of stakes or guy lines um, to set up? And also how long will it take you to set up the tent? All right, there's a big difference. Um, on average, I, I would say it would take about five minutes to set up a tent. If you buy a new tent, obviously try it out before you go. Um, because you might end up um, having a bit of difficulty setting it up for the first time. Trust me, I'm talking from experience, so yeah. Also with the setup, it's important that it's fit for your purpose. So for example, if you're going to be camping on slopes, you don't want to have a freestanding tent because, you know, then it's going to just slide down or whatever. You know, just think about the purpose it needs to fit and how the tent will be set up. All right, so if you're um, going camping on a platform, uh, for example, the, on the old ghost road, um, it would have been handy to have a freestanding tent, but then you can always use sticks or, or rocks to set up a non-freestanding tent in the worst case scenario. But just think about the scenarios that you will be using your tent in. So when I say it needs to be fit for purpose, you also have to look into uh, the waterproofing levels of the tent and the durability. 
So um, if you're going hiking in the UK where it rains a lot, you need a high waterproofing level tent. Okay, and uh, it's measured in millimeters and you can go all the way up to 10,000 millimeters um, waterproofing. Um, but you need to check the ground sheet. So how waterproof is the ground sheet? How thick is it? And also how waterproof is the tent itself? It's important to have at least 5,000 if you're going to very rainy areas. Um, because if it's raining for a long time or if it's very heavy rain, uh, you might end up having a tent that is not waterproof enough. Um, again, that happened to me as well with my first backtracking tent. I went on the Pennant Way in England and guess what? It was raining for two days. I kind of, I, I went to a campsite and I went inside to have a meal because there was a restaurant. I came back, everything was totally wet and um, yeah, that wasn't pleasant. I actually gave up my hike the next day because I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> So anyway, so that's when I decided to buy a new tent, which was the Terra Nova Laser Competition. And I had that tent for 10 years and I'm 100% happy with it still. Um, until recently I bought a, a new tent, of course. I will, I will talk about that later. Uh, but just check the waterproofing level, windproofing, you know, how does it perform in a storm? It's always interesting to look at reviews, uh, whether it's on YouTube or blog posts or something like that. Just, just go and do your research before you buy. If they say they're selling out, well, there's always Amazon or eBay or whatever, okay? So you're never gonna miss out. It might take you a little bit longer to get it, but you're never gonna miss out, okay? Something I also wanna talk about when we're talking about waterproofing levels, and there is something else that is very important, and that is condensation, okay? When you're going hiking, and you set up your tent and it gets cold at night, you might get condensation because the air in your tent is colder than the, the, the air in your breath. When you look up and there's like drops of water on your tent, um, that is condensation, okay? So you can choose for a double wall tent, which will make it less prone to condensation. So always keep that in mind. Condensation exists, it's real, and it doesn't matter if you have a, a really good tent or not. Then something I need to mention is always look at your footprint and the livability because you are obviously going to spend some time in your tent. So do you want comfort or do you just want something to sleep in and then go? There's so many things to consider, but if you want some kind of comfort, I would suggest um, looking at the footprint, uh, look at the height. Okay, if you're a tall person, you want it to be high enough to sit up straight. Uh, look at the walls, for example, if they're quite vertical, then you know that you're going to have uh, more space than when it's like a round uh, surface or like a round dome dome kind of tent. Um, all right, and then do you want your bag inside? Again, the footprint will tell you whether there is enough space for you and your bag. If, like if you're not sure and you know, you want to try different things, um, when you go and shop for a tent, most shops allow you to to pitch or they will pitch it for you. And then you will have a look inside. Yeah, then you can have a look inside how it looks like. So it's important to feel comfortable, have enough space and definitely have enough space for what you need it for. Then the last thing I want to talk about is the design element. So apart from all the other stuff I talked about, you need to also ask yourself, what do you want? in terms of features. So would you like pockets inside? So I like, for example, an overhead pocket where I can put my headlights inside at night so I can actually, then I have like a, the feeling that I'm that I'm in a room with the lights. Anyway, um, or is that not important for you? You know, these are all small features. Another thing is like vestibules, you know, do you want vestibules? Do you want one or two vestibules? Um, how big do they need to be? Is it important for you to spend some time in the tent when it's like raining or whatever? Okay, um, and then another thing is, you know, if you're with two people, do you want one door, two doors, even if you're going solo? Um, I prefer to have two doors because then you can have some airflow uh, coming through and that will also help with the condensation. All right, guys, there's so many bells and whistles that you can have in your tents and, you know, some of them might be important to you, some of them are not. But it, these are all things that you need to take into account when you go and buy your tent, okay? It's one of the most important gear pieces when you're going on an overnight hike. And I would love for you to find a really good tent that fits your needs. All right, so my new tent is the Dan Dursen X-Mid 1P and I am so stoked with it. 
I've done over 650 kilometers now with it and yeah I can't wait to do a review it's coming but it's gonna be a few more weeks guys uh, but it's definitely coming and um, I can't wait to show you all right as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye And I'm sweating like a pig because it's 40 degrees. Oh God. Hot, 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 hot. It's like 40 degrees today and oh my God, it's so humid. Double wall tent will always have less conversation than a single wall tent. A uh, single wall tent is because obviously you, you're, you've only got one layer between the outside and the inside, obviously. Uh, I don't know how to explain this.